Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to jailbreak on iOS 4.1 using Snowbreeze. So guys, uh, in case you missed it, I did do a video just a little while back, uh, basically kind of warning you guys away from Snowbreeze. There were a lot of problems. However, I Hate Snow, the developer of Snowbreeze, has went ahead and fixed pretty much all of these. And in the meantime, I've been testing it and I have found no problem. So I feel, I feel just fine to go ahead and give you guys a full tutorial. So anyway guys, this is a, of course a 4.1 jailbreak and it will work for pretty much all devices except for the iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPhone 4, and the iPad. Um, all of the devices it does support, although in different cases uh, it's a little bit different. So unlike most jailbreaks where you know it's really pretty straightforward, as far as what devices support, it's a, it's a, little, bit, uh, <laughs> it's a, little, a little bit complicated. So guys, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, instead of spending five minutes just trying to talk through you guys through what it supports and what it doesn't, instead I'm going to go ahead and just point you guys, I'm going to go ahead and write the entire thing down and put it in the description of this video. Uh, now, there are different circumstances for all devices, so uh, take for example the iPod Touch 2nd generation, which I'll be showing you today. It's pretty simple. Um, all you need to do is just need to be pre-jailbroken, or you don't even, or you can just go ahead and run a different program, iRev. Uh, now, it all the way goes up to, for example, the iPod Touch 3rd generation and the iPhone 3GS, which needs you to be on 3.1.2. So again, guys, take a look in the description, read through, pick out, make sure that you pick out your device properly, and then let's go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Okay, so let's begin with the obvious step of downloading the program. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Go ahead and come over to IHateSnow.com and just cl click on the Snowbreeze link. And I, of course, will have the link in the description as well. You can go ahead and just hit that. And it'll take you to this page. Uh, basically, all you need to do is go ahead and just click Download for Windows. And this Snowbreeze is Windows only currently. So if you're looking to use it um, and you have a Mac or you have a Linux computer, you just borrow someone else's Windows computer somehow. You know, Just go ahead and get on Windows. Um, then go ahead and download the program. So once you've done that, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is just go ahead and open up the program. Okay, so once you have the program open, a little box should po open up saying check for updates. Now, if you just downloaded this, you shouldn't have to. However, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and just click make sure that there are no updates. Maybe, you know, bugs and glitches might be fixed. Uh, but anyway, go ahead and just hit OK. And let's go ahead and hit Next. So the first thing you need to do is pick simple or expert mode. Uh, now this is pretty simple. Go ahead and pick expert mode. It's not all that difficult, and it does give you a lot of extra options. Uh, so go ahead. In addition, if you have an iPhone 3GS or an iPod Touch third generation, you will need to click expert mode. So I definitely go ahead and just click on that and hit next. Now at this point, you're going to go ahead and need to find your IPSW file. Now what this is is the firmware, which obviously is going to be 4.1, um, but this is going to be your firmware for your device. So odds are you're going to have it on your computer. If you don't know where it is, just go ahead and Google, you know, if you have a, an iPhone 3GS 4.1, go ahead and just Google that or whatever it is that you need. Um, that should give you all the answers you need. So at this point, go ahead and just pick out your IPSW. So as you can see here, I do have it right here, my 4.1, and obviously this is using my iPod Touch 2nd generation. So go ahead and hit, hit open and hit next. Okay, so at this point, it will pop up with, uh, well, depending on what your device is, it will pop up with some sort of dialog. So if you have an iPod Touch 2nd generation, which is what I have here, you need to go ahead and pick out if it's an iPod uh, MB model or an MC. So definitely go ahead and pick out the correct jailbreak. And I will say that if you have an MC model, it will be a tethered. So, you know, you'll have to kind of keep that in mind. You know, I do have the MB, so it's no big deal. So go ahead and hit next. And now there are quite a few options. Uh, technically, you don't have to go through any of these, but I recommend go ahead and go through take a look at what you want to do. Um, I'll go ahead and go through it pretty quickly here. Um, so you can go ahead and activate the iPhone. You can do all kinds of stuff like that. However, for what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and pick uh, battery percentage and native multitasking. You can go ahead and put background wallpapers. Again, you can activate your phone. You can do a lot of different things, but for this time, I'm just going to do these two. Of course, feel free to do whatever you like. Uh, now at this point you can go ahead and add custom apps, custom uh, sources, all that kind of stuff. Today I'm not going to go ahead and do that. It's pretty simple to do it from inside of the device. But you know, if you have you know maybe a custom app that you want to download, whatever, it's pretty simple to go ahead and do it from inside of Snowbreeze. And that lastly, we're going to go ahead and pick out the boot logo and recovery logo. Again, you can go ahead and pick out. Now this is not for all devices, but you can go ahead and pick out. So. You know, if you want to go get your custom boot logo, custom recovery logo, go ahead and feel free to pick out whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just stick with the standard, but uh, not a big deal. And that's pretty much it. So now we go ahead and click Build IPSW and hit Next. So at this point, it's going to go ahead and build the IPSW, um, depending on how powerful your computer is. And it's going to take anywhere from, you know, just a couple minutes to quite a while. So go ahead and just sit back, chill, let your computer go through its thing, and I'll be right back as soon as it's done. Okay, so Snowbreeze just finished up. Uh, now at this point, there actually are two different ways that you could do this. 
Uh, now, depending on your device, uh, if you have an iPhone 3G or an iPod Touch second generation, you and you're not jailbroken already, you will need to run iRev. Uh, now, basically, what it'll do is once uh, Snowbreeze finishes up, it'll uh, go ahead and ask you. I accidentally shot the camera before that, but uh, it'll go ahead and ask you whether or not you're already jailbroken. If you already have been jailbroken, like I am here, actually, I'm already on 4.1. I'm just doing the. Two, I'm just jailbreaking again, just to show you guys how to do it. Um, if you're already jailbroken, um, doesn't matter what firmware you're on. If you're already jailbroken, go ahead and hit yes, and you can go ahead and get out. Now, if you haven't jailbroken yet, go ahead and hit no, and it will run you through iReb. Uh, so guys, it's a really simple program. Basically, you just need to put your iPod Touch or iPhone into DFU mode. Uh, the, it's got a great tutorial there, so you, know, you just follow that really simply. Run through that, and then you'll be here. So either way, Snowbreeze, you should finish up with Snowbreeze and come into iTunes. Now at this point, one way or the other, I'm sorry, wow, my white balance is terrible. Um, one way or the other, you should have your iPod or iPhone connected to iTunes. Now at this point, it's pretty simple. You need to go ahead, if you're on a... Uh, if you're on a Mac, you go ahead and hit Hold Option and left click Restore. If you're on Windows, you go ahead and hit Shift and Restore. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And let's just go ahead and find your IPSW. Or actually, why, I'm not really sure why I just told you to do it on Mac because obviously this is Windows only. Um, but if you're obviously, it's going to be on your desktop, the IPSW. Now all you need to do is hit Open and then just give iTunes a few minutes. So guys, I'm going to be right back and let iTunes run through again. Just let it finish up. I'll be right back as soon as it's done. Okay, guys, so it just finished up and, you know, syncing all my stuff over. Um, but as you guys can see, there's Game Center and there's Cydia. So, um, there we go, guys. That's it for my tutorial of how to use Snowbreeze on iOS 4.1. Uh, I do have to say, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, you know, the first time, I know I'm uh, pretty late in making this video, but, of course, when I tried it before, it wasn't working. I absolutely, the last thing I wanted to do was recommend a jailbreak that was not going to work for you guys you know, cause your problems or anything like that. Um, but I've, obviously, I've tested Snowbreeze quite a few times now that it's been updated. And I have absolutely zero problems. But of course, if you do have any problems, feel free to go ahead and post them in the comment section below. And I'll try to get to as many of you as I can. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.